Hello everybody and <laughs> fucking hell, look at that spike. Hello everybody and welcome to week four, is it? Four? That's a question and answer. I am of no help. <laughs> I'm Brad. And that over there is Walsh. Over here. <laughs> and it's, t- it's time to time to answer some questions. Okay. We're speaking into mugs. I-, I was, but I've stopped now. Okay. Are you ready, Walsh, to answer some questions? Yes. Question one from Tom Tom Cook twenty four. You slipped into <laughs> You slipped it <laughs> You slipped I can't even fucking do it now. <laughs> you slipped into a Bane voice at one point. Did it. So <laughs> Do it. No I need it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. What have you been what <laughs> what have you what have been your favourite movie slash comic slash T V show based games, Walsh? Oh shit! How did I not think of that? The Star Wars Battlefront games. Talk without the the Star Wars <laughs> Battlefront games. That's a very good point. They were awesome. I put. Uh, to be honest, I've not really played many except maybe Arkham City, but that was only briefly, and that was pretty good. But and this is kind of cheating because the comic was made after it, but prototype because there was a prototype comic. I have one of those comics. In my cupboard. Just oh, one. The first issue. Lifeline fam. Okay. <laughs> Question two from Joshy the Nerd. What's your favourite motto? I've answered this as if it was slogan rather than motto. Oh dear. What have you done? Well, I I chose a funny one rather than a, <laughs> ooh, rather than a proper one. And it's from a Terry Pratchett book. And it's a family of vampires and the family motto is Carpe Uculum. Which is seize the throat. Oh, you kill them. That's very funny. Mine is, mine's pretty shit actually. Curry's always cutting prices. <laughs> cheap stuff is good. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, Curry's isn't cheap. Hello, hello. Okay, question three. Uh, from Joshy the Nerd again. If you could be the inventor of an already created object, what would it have been? Walsh. <laughs> the guitar. Oh, right, I thought that was the mug. Since you've been playing the mug. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. good, that's a good one. The guitar? I picked uh, the internet, because it's pretty good. It's not an object. I also, this, this doesn't really work either, but I picked Valve, because if I was a CEO of Valve, I'd make the next Half-Life, or at least get it under construction or something. <laughs> okay, question four from... I'm using Da Force. He says, "All right, um, what uh, your plans with this channel?" Question mark. If you're going to be the most sub, what if you become the most sub channel on YouTube? Will your content always stay the same, or are you going to turn the way the wind blows, Matthew? Well, it'd always be pretty similar anyway, because it's us playing it and doing our thing. Yeah, but we'd have to cater to like what the majority of the audience want. So mm-hmm. like. What games and st- stuff they want to watch? That's and, kind of what I've said, actually. And also, which of our series actually get views? Yeah. I guess would be a big yeah. thing. For example, Trine didn't really get many views. No. That's not the reason we stopped it, but it's the reason we didn't carry on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I said it's a good question. It's hard to say for sure. I'd like to keep making the videos the way we do and the kind of content we do. But uh, to be honest, if you know the people that subscribe are like our fans, if they say like can you do this and a few other people agree I'd, I'd sooner make content that it's going to make people happy but to be honest having fun is kind of the main priority because we, if we if we play a shit game that we don't like it's going to come through in the content yeah so I said, I'd say the view is a priority but if we're not going to enjoy something then we can't really make a video on it unless it's so bad that it's hilarious okie doke question 5 from Mrs Pepper Potty what's your favourite Pokemon choose carefully because Walsh is going to have to build one of those motherfuckers <laughs> Go on. Shall I go first? Yes. Labafet! <laughs> because, because he's like the ultimate troll Pokemon, and the Team Rocket are always foiled by it. <laughs> so true. I've picked Blastoise, and my reasons for this are, he's badass as fuck, he has two massive cannons on his back, <laughs> and he's well hard. <laughs>
Uh, these are the non-user questions now. What is your favourite TV series at the moment, Matthew? Um, Matthew isn't part of the question. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would have to be any Ricky Gervais slash Carl Pilkington oriented TV series. Uh-huh. Because that's so funny. That's a good reason. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mine is uh, Dexter or How I Met Your Mother or Family Guy, which are kind of three totally different genres. But um, it depends what I'm in the mood for. But I'd say overall, my favourite series in terms of like something I would just sit down and watch all of is probably Dexter because it's pretty awesome, man. A Kadok. Question seven. What's the last movie you went to see? We went to see the Batman, didn't we? We did. What is it? When Gotham is when Gotham is in ashes, you have my permission to die. <laughs> that was so <laughs> shit. What's the other one? Uh, I wondered what would break first, your spirit or your body. <laughs> there we go. Space Marines! We didn't see that one. No. <laughs> okay. Question eight. What is the last book you read? Mine was... Probably some rubbish one about Warhammer. Yeah, it was some rubbish one about Warhammer. It was The Lost by Dan Abner. Is it good? Yeah, it's about Gaunt and his ghosts. Good. I know about those. You told you me about those. Question eight. Uh, first full, oh, sorry, the first. The last full book I read was *The Joy of Mixology* by Gary Reagan because I like my cocktails and that. And the book I would say that I'm kind of reading because I don't often read is uh, *Amsterdam* by Ian McEwan, which was given to me temporarily by one of our question askers, Tom Cook, twenty-four. So big up atheism. I mean, Tom Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Football. Okay. Question <laughs> nine: If you could be any character in fiction, in fiction, whom would you be? I thought very briefly about this. Okay, Doak. What did you pick? And it's probably not a well thought through right answer, but I, I chose Felix Jaeger. Who's that? Is from the Got Trek and Felix novels. Is he a badass? Does he like? He's those? not a badass. He's kind of like a normal guy. All right. But he gets to do lots of cool stuff and killing stuff and stuff. Could you really put yourself through that? Could you kill a man, Walsh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went. I went the opposite route. I didn't pick. I picked like the most not normal guy. I picked Iron Man, because, or rather Tony Stark, because my reasons are hot girlfriend slash wife, because I don't really know. Uh, he's mega rich. He's mega smart. He he's Iron Man, and he's sarcastic as fuck. That was my reasons. I didn't think of superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly sure they're a character in fiction. <laughs> Okie doke. Question 10. Name one book you had to read but hated and explain why you hated it. Matthew. An Inspector Calls. Oh, God. I didn't even read it and I've heard so much shit about that. Because we did it at GCSE. Mm-hmm. And it was meant to be like a social commentary. Yes. And it was meant to teach us about social responsibility. Oh, God. Except Every single message in it was outdated by about fifty years and didn't oh, apply. Sounds painful. It was, it was all about sexism and stuff and, <laughs> and having a maid and just, it, it was about having a maid. And, and, yeah, and, and the classes and everything. <laughs> and it was like, oh, oh, come on, come on, choose something, choose something less morbid than someone fucking drinking bleach and dying. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? Whoa, I did not know that part about it. That's pretty morbid, man. Mine, mine, that makes mine look ridiculous. Mine was Butter of Suburbia by Hanif Qureshi. I had to Google that. Uh, just because it was a really hipster book that was like... It was about... Uh, I can't say his name. It was about someone we know's life, essentially. Uh, it was really crude. It was I've actually just written crap as a reader. <laughs> uh, anybody that's read it, hopefully will understand what I mean, but it's just a really hipster book. Okay, no. Question... 11. 10. 11. Are you a spender, Matthew, or a saver? Well... I already know the answer to this. No, no, oh, no, no. Oh. I'm, I'm often both. <laughs> That's wow. We can't have that answer, Matthew. Because I buy things on offer. Whoa! Yeah. No, 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 but... Um, because if I, if I want something, I'll save for it, then I'll, then I'll buy it. Yeah. But if I have money... You'll just and I want it. something I'll just buy it yeah that's essentially what I thought I said uh, I'm a spender if I've got the money it is terrible if I want it I must obtain it those are my reasons <laughs> <laughs> okay question 12 what oh, for fuck's sake what are your cats called <laughs> Matthew picked this question because he loves cats I don't, 
podcast. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> My cat is called Lottie, and she goes. <laughs> no, no, that was a completely different animal. Mine are. I wrote Timony, but I meant to write Timothy. <laughs> Tim, essentially. And Tash, because on one half of his face he has a moustache kind of thing going on. <laughs> Not actually a moustache, but different coloured fur at that point. Okay, now, question... I said that... Question 13. Okay. <laughs> why do you hate your cats, Brad? Why do you hate them? You evil bastard, you. Also, Walsh, why are you so great? What website did you find this one on? <laughs> <laughs> Brain.com. Uh, okay, why do I hate my cat? I don't hate my cats as such. I'm just not a pet person. Uh, it's sad when they die. They sometimes have fleas. <laughs> and I fucking hate when they scratch my bedroom door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I suppose the only part of that question you can answer is why are you so great, Walsh? Um, maybe I was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. That's it. That's it, that's it. That's the reason. That's why I'm you, great. Because you were born with it. Maybe. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, right, okay. Did you actually set that answer up for me to answer like that? No. I didn't think of the answer until after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question 14. What is your greatest gaming achievement? Well, he's drawn a massive penis on his <laughs> challenge answer sheet. Carry on. <laughs> I, um, I feel I, like we should take a photograph of that and put it in the video. Really? <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Anyway, back to the question. Um, right. Um, I have quite a few. I'm not sure if I have like any one. I'm sure there are a load that I'm missing. Yeah. But. Here we go, here we go. 525 Archaeology on WoW. Woo! That's go team. Inc- incredibly sad. <laughs> um, hey, you fucking love flying around on that mount. Yeah, it's just <laughs> flying around, being really big. <laughs> That's about it. Um, Giggity. Uh, being good at Rock Band was a big thing for a while. Yes, that's a very good call, actually. I, didn't I, spent, that. I spent so long on vocals. <laughs> and also being... If I don't, well, <laughs> I don't want to sound a bit. Just know, answer the question. But I'm pretty good at FPS games on the Xbox. <laughs> you mean COD? Are you good at Battlefield too? I uh, can. I be. mean three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm good at both, but no, I can be. I can be, but well, that's um, good then. I often on Battlefield just fly around in the MAV because it's fun. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, the Rock Band one is a very good point. Actually, I didn't think of that as uh, <laughs> not to brag, but I played expert on every instrument. But uh, I would say my biggest achievement in gaming is um, in the Burning Crusade on, War- on World of Warcraft, I was in a guild called Brethren, and before Paragon came onto our server and started getting all the server first, we got pretty much every server first going, and I was present at uh, Archimond and Illidan kill, so... You are not perfect! <laughs> it doesn't sound like this! <laughs> but yeah, that was probably my biggest one, getting server first and that. And I was only like 13 at the time. That's me. I know, I'm awesome. Okay, question 15. If you had an object, if you had to be an object in your kitchen, what would you be? Oh my god. I. I would be the chopping board. Because <laughs> the chopping board. was made to not give a fuck about a knife. No, and the chopping board doesn't give a fuck about a knife. Oh. Uh, chopping board was made to not <laughs> give a fuck about a knife. That's a good answer. I picked kettle. Because I fucking love coffee. <laughs> that was my answer. It however, get coffee in however, it. I should have added mug, but I can only be one. So. Or coffee pot. That would have worked. No, we're not in America here. So there. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that's the end of it. Um, it's quite quite a reasonable length for one of these videos. Yes. So uh, thanks again, everyone, for watching. We've thought out a schedule, so we'll be talking about that in one of our videos soon to come. Please leave many, 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 many questions. It makes it a lot easier. As many as you can. And it it means that we don't have to answer questions that Walsh writes like, what are your cats called? Which is just (laughs) fucking shit. (laughs) So, uh... I wanted to play Guild Wars. (laughs) Thanks, everyone. That's a good point. We should do some Guild Wars videos. We should, but we need to... I don't know what we'll do. You know, we had a schedule, and now you fucked it up. (laughs) (laughs) We'll sort it out. We'll let you all know what's going on. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone, for watching and uh, supporting us and being subscribed and all that. Uh, all your comments we appreciate and don't forget to like our Facebook page and tell all your friends about us because they all want to know really cool people like oh
forever alone. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye, you fools. <laughs>